I can't even meow to this. <laughs> it's a doom. It's stoner metal, bro. Yeah. The original was at 45. You're just playing it at 33. <laughs> or the original was 78. And you're at 33 now. Probably. All right, every. <laughs> All right, everybody. I was happy. Hey. We got a we got a new piece of gear, and I didn't get the old theme song loaded onto it yet. <laughs> but uh, I think I'll let this play through till the end because I used uh, Udio.com beta to make a stoner metal intro song. <laughs> I like it. That's actually it's pretty actually, cool. It's actually not bad. I'm I was pretty impressed for it being an AI generated thing. You have to give it the prompts, and it you know makes yeah. the noise. And it, I did went through like five different iterations before I came up with something. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of cool. All right. You know, we got Tony over there. We're here. We got JK with his Daikaiju. We'll talk about that in a second. Right here. Shirt on. And joining us in the studio this week is Corey Bauman. Hello. Much of the uh, <clears throat> the biking and the banding and the beer drinking. I'm here for it. All those things <laughs> <laughs> are things that you do. Welcome to the, uh, this is now called the, what do we call this place? This is the uh, Podcast MKE Studio. That's, yes. It's, we're working on it. We're it's coming there. along. Getting there. Black ceiling tiles are my next, my I, next I would, thing. I would definitely give it a different vibe. Right. I like it. Yeah. Dimmable but, lights uh, would be kind of cool, too. Except, yeah, you know, if we're going to do video, we got, I would like a little more maybe directional lights or okay. something. Right. Get rid of those I'm ugly, too. though. It'd be better in the dark. Yeah. I'd. Go orange to match these chairs. Yeah, the- <laughs> cool. hey, four chairs for a hundred bucks. I was like, gotta got, love it. Gotta have those chairs. Yeah, those are nice chairs. They're very nice. They're comfy. Uh, so uh, starting out with uh, JK's Daikaiju shirt over there. Those guys are coming to the X-ray Arcade in Milwaukee. Really, seven twenty-six during. So, what it say it with me? The River West, West twenty-four. 24. So if I got like a random text that just said, hi, Tony, this is David from Daikaiju, it would definitely be possible for me to do a show either after hours, after X-Ray Arcade, set that night, or late afternoon the next day. Ah, Saturday. So they are fucking coming to the River West 24. We just got to gotta figure out where and how much. And come they, up with 1500 bucks. Uh, is that what their fee is? I'll front fifteen hundred bucks myself if I have to. I said I'm in for money. <laughs> I'm like, I, I will. <laughs> we just have to figure to out to be where able to see Daikaiju twice in less than twenty four hours in two different venues and be host I, for one of them. I might have got a boner when I read that. Boy, oh, I got boy, this boy, text boy. and I was in the middle of a rough day at work. I'm like, and then I went and happened to run into him, so he <laughs> kept it a secret too. Yeah. So we both knew about this for a couple hours now. Cash out on uh, some Cardano and. Uh, I ain't going to do that yet. Yeah, it's still too cheap. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> no, it's been sinking like a rock. I, I got enough Microsoft. I can just pop that in. Okay, there you go. There you go. Three it's, shares covered. I, I know you had some kind of funds. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I, I would, Molly will ship bricks if I say I need 1500 bucks, but I don't think I'll need $1,500. i will figure out a way to make it happen. Don't tell her. I'm terribly impressed. I didn't, I kept my damn yap shut. Yeah, you did. I'm impressed. Well, and you were just needling. And I like yeah. wearing the Daikaiju shirt, too, to throw that yeah. into it, because you weren't wearing that today at work. No, I was dressed up classy-like. Me, too. <laughs> I, always, well, I was wearing this like I always I'm always dressed up. But, yes. Motherfucking Daikaiju. Somewhat, we got to right. just come up with a venue. Or my yard. That's or I was, I was, <laughs> River West Arby's. Yeah, or, River, West Arby's. River West Arby's. Or if it's during the day. Fucking amorphic. That would just in their parking lot. Think how that would rule. That would rule. There's so many. I, it, it's just I'm my. It it's made an my freaking of riches. Year. I think we have to find a PA for him too. So we'll have to figure that out. We can work that out. Jeff Hamilton has a nice QSC system. Maybe we can get him. Or to we can help out. We can get uh, Scanlon's stuff and say, hey, uh, <laughs> maybe you could play in between sets. Maybe just you to- could. Maybe you could yeah. play through this toy PA that we have here for you. Yes, logistics will be a thing, but we we'll do it. Right we'll on. do it. Well, that's very good news, Tony. I kept that's big secret. news. I kept that really big secret. Yeah, yeah. you did a good job. You did a good job. <laughs> I'm fucking excited. You know what's not a secret? World Naked Bike Ride is coming to Milwaukee. When is that? It what? is. What are you doing over there? Tearing the places? Yeah, apparently. Uh, it get is. All worked up in a froth. It is June 22nd. Now meeting at Lacage at noon. 
Why are they meeting? I mean, I don't care that they're meeting at a gay bar, but I just think that's hilarious. Well, they're also there's, milling about for four hours before they actually go on yeah, the ride. So there's uh, a they got a lot of it. Like I, space on the inside. I yeah. mistakenly ran into that one year. We, we did, yeah. We did. caught me a little bit by surprise, and I'm sorry. I'm not riding a bike naked. Were you not in La Cage when we had the derby inside I, on yeah, the dance floor? Yeah, that I was okay. there. Derby but on the dance no, floor. No, I was at Donardo's going to set up my uh, my that thing, my uh, minor, and I'm like, finally, I'm in at Donardo's on a Saturday, so I can go to Enlighten to have a beer. And as I'm starting to ride to Enlighten, I hear music. I'm like, cool, they're having a show. And then I'm like just casually riding my bike, and out of the corner of my eye, I'm like, that's weird. That person looked naked. And then I look the other way. I'm like, well, all four of those people are naked. I'm like, <laughs> what in the hell is going on? You have a backpack on and nothing else, young lady, and you have nice boobs. And <laughs> I go inside, and half the people in Enlightened are naked. And fortunately, I see a guy who has clothes on that I recognize. And I'm like, and you, well, I think you can relate. And I... I walk up to him and I'm like, hey, I know you from somewhere and I never do this to anyone, but who are you? And he's like, Tony, it's Aaron. I'm like, you're back from Taiwan. You, He teaches English as, uh, to wealthy people in Taiwan. I think Taiwan, maybe. Anyway, he's the guy that comes back every year to do the River West 24. Okay. He did tandem one year with Steve, uh, Big Beard Steve uh, Anderson. No. Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, what in the hell is going on here? And he's like, oh, it's the naked underwear under, it's the naked bike ride. I'm like, Not oh God. Underwear ride. I'm like, suddenly this is all like, I'm like, why? I'm like, why do you want to ride your bike without any clothes on? I don't, I don't have any problem with people being naked, but that saddle's going to hurt after a few miles. Boone and Crockett hosted that one year. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Yeah. I recall that. And pedal tavern for leaving from there. Mm-hmm. Kayak sleeve from there. A group of Boy Scouts <laughs> showed up. Milwaukee buy bike leaves from there. Yep. Yep. And uh, and they had to m- basically move all the kayaks like down to just keep their kids around. All right. Oh, Lord. Yeah, nudity should you know, be then, illegal, though. And then at the end of it, you know, people are thinning out and whatever. Um. And there was one guy wearing a G.I. Joe hat, like just some camouflage hat and in, in shoes. And that's it? <laughs> Being weird to fucking everybody. Oh, you know? no. Yeah, see that? Well, I think it brings out some weirdos. Yeah. Yeah. It, it gives yeah. the excuse to like, oh, here I. Like nobody else and... is around and he's like <laughs> peeing behind a dumpster. And I'm like, you know, there's more pedal taverns going out. And he's just standing there like with his like hands on his hips, just like watching a pedal tavern load. It's everybody's oh, like, that's just who creepy. is this guy? See, that's too creepy. And for then, me. Is he doing and then, a helicopter? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit of hip thrust in, you know. And I was just like, I had to call Boone and be like, you need to get these people out of here. Your event ended four hours ago. Oh, wow. And he was still saying the ride. Naked. The ride was over, you know, and people are hanging out and drinking nude. <laughs> but again, it was thinning out, and he was like, you know, last man standing. Wow. So That's just uh, creepy. Speaking of pedal taverns, Corey, that is one of your things you do. I do that. in the off season from the teaching. It's true. I like to tell my riders that uh, that I teach in the off season. Sounds They're, like a good plan. I like yeah. it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I do drive the pedal tavern. Cool. That's good I have, stuff. I have ridden on Corey's pedal tavern. It was fun. I can did, honestly did Molly say? come with too? No. No, Molly actually Mo- it was the first time Molly ever drove the convertible. We met up with Molly at Drink Wisconsin. Boy. Yes. That's what happened. Yes. So she was kind of there. Yeah. So how how rowdy do will those get? Everyone rowdy or are they all you different? You know, it's or? it's pretty chill for the most part, honestly. Um nobody wants to like it's like when you go to like a work outing. You know, like you want to have a good time. You don't want to embarrass yourself. Um, <laughs> Speak for yourself. You know, and there's <laughs> there's uh, there's some people there that you know do get a little wild, but for the most part, everybody's pretty tame. A it used to be, <laughs> yeah. And in the pedal tavern has turned more into like the pregame versus like the main event. Sure. Mm. It, it used to be like people would be like, oh, to, like a bachelor party, be like, yeah, we got up early and we were golfing. While drinking, and then we went to the brewery game while drinking, and then we went to a brewery tour while drinking, and now you get to babysit us for two hours while we continue drinking. 
Now it's people show up at three o'clock and they're like, yeah, we've got dinner plans at six, <laughs> you know, and then, We're and then after that, started. yeah, yeah. So it's more or less people are just kind of getting started. Cool. It's yeah. The, it's the primer for the day. Yeah. 99.9% right? of the, the tours are, are really great. Cool. You know, it's just a bunch of people hanging out, having a few pops and yeah. Cool. I do the smile and wave. Yeah. Because as a bicycle I check going every, by. I, yeah. I check everyone you hoping you're the driver. The, yeah. Yes. So one you of always the, get the, I always get heckled and be like, yeah. Not well, how like how often do uh, do you hear people go, Fuck like off. you're cheating? <laughs> Either they yell, you're cheating, or you want to race, or we need help. <laughs> Those are the big big three that right, I right. that I hear. <laughs> I, I like don't forget to breathe. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. That, that that works well at the uh, upcoming toad races. Just dig, yell it at the race. Dig, Don't forget to breathe. Dig, 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 <laughs> dig. I still think the best one was when the the You're one I was at with you guys outside of Kenny's parents' house, and that fucking wild turkey just starts strutting across the street, and there's like. 80 cyclists coming at it, and it's like, I don't give oh, a Oh, that was Ravane's fuck. house on Oh, Lake, that's what it yeah, was. Ravane's house on Lake Drive. They, oh, they, yeah. that, 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 the east side turkeys don't you, give You may not poop. have seen that turkey's balls, but I'll guarantee you they were huge. Because he was just <laughs> looking at these, and everyone was just, and everyone was also was like, oh, I got to get away from this thing. It was hilarious. Don't fuck with the turkeys. All right, Corey. So one of the things that you do in the summer in your in, for your real job, in your off time of uh, in the winter, uh, is is River West Twenty Four stuff. Are you still the bonus checkpoint coordinator, or what's your official title? Yeah, I would call myself the official bonus checkpoint coordinator. That's or manager. I like every, it. Every, everybody usually goes with manager is whatever their their thing is. That's a Jeremy Proc bit. There you go. Um, That's so yeah, bonus than, yeah. bonus checkpoint manager. I um, got. <clears throat> 48 checkpoints this year. Wow. A 49th if you include the uh, tattoo. Um, There's a tattoo? Yeah. It's brand new this year. Oh, really? So if riders get a it's tattoo. A, it's a full back tattoo this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, riders can get a get a tattoo. and uh, Is it a real tattoo? That's what I'm always asked. Yeah, for life. It's like a real tattoo. Yeah, no, you... Own it or don't do it. There. Yeah. There. Low, look at no, that. There it is. Right there. <laughs> you have all of them, don't you? Mm-hmm. So do I. Mm-hmm. I only have one. Guess how many I have? <clears throat> Zero. Zero. None. That's all right, though. I, <laughs> if I was ever going to get a tattoo, it would be a RW24 tattoo, yeah. though. It's one of the few things that would be like, yeah, I got a... That's what I did. I got the... I'm, sport that around until I croak. Uh, yeah, it well, was a I got, double tap on it. I got this as my only tattoo, and I got it in Tony's house. <laughs> nice. Like, I'm like, I've yes. gotten two in this house. I've, I've, I've like, right? ticked off yep. two boxes there. Yep. I love <laughs> running into people with them and be like, where'd you get that tattoo? And they're yeah. like, some abandoned house. I'm like, no, my abandoned my, house. That was my house. <laughs> like, that some weird me, ghost house, the, man. The, very, <laughs> the first year that, that I rode in the 24 was the second year of the 24. And... uh and I got the first one on my, like, kind of right above my ankle. And then little did I know that, you know, 14 years later, I'm going to be, like, running out of room <laughs> on my, you know, they're just going to have to start sliding down into my foot because I just keep getting them, like, Ouch. underneath. Ouch. Yeah. I got last year's on, or two years ago on my ankle, like, right on it. Yeah, right on the ball. Last year was, like, right where my Achilles is, and that was Rough. Painful. And and it didn't heal very well either. It's mm-hmm. it's kind of spotty. I might need to get a touch up this year. But but yeah, um, going back to the the bonuses, we have forty eight of them. I spent a lot of time on the phone today, actually, just checking in with people. Like you're still doing this, right? <laughs> right. Because like, oh, yeah, yeah. people start. We started um, this year. I think in from March. Yeah, from somewhere in March to four twenty. Uh, we, we were taking first time bonus hosts because, you know, like so many people like we're back this year. We want to do it again. We love doing it last year. And, you know, and they get at us pretty early, but then a lot of times those other people that have never done it get pushed to the side and we're like, well, let's change it up. That's cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it's one of the most fun parts of the event is actually hosting a bonus check. Yeah, for sure. Totally. I've done a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of my, the dunk tank was the best. That was a good one. So fucking cold. You get yeah. a lot of people coming through your 
in your yard or yeah i had that one that year with the flower decorations what uh we had the bouncy house what would be a favorite bonus checkpoint of yours off the top of your head that you did not host um <laughs> as much as it was embarrassing <laughs> as fuck it was the uh planned parenthood where i had to jump with the wooden dildo between my legs and get to a chair and put a condom on it and then jump back <laughs> <laughs> that is something that I did not experience. That I like was, that idea. That was a pretty bizarre one. It okay. was the Planned Parenthood right over the, up the street here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I'll do that. When, when was that? Um, A long time ago. Okay. Uh, but that was a good one. I liked making the seat cushions along the beer line trail okay. with Katie Jesse, where we had to, you had to put the foam in and then stretch the vinyl over and staple them. That was a pretty fun one. Um. I think I got Alzheimer's because I don't remember that many of them. I remember, I remember <laughs> filling sandbags for Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, I remember that one. The garden something that work was, was cool useful. over by uh, Reservoir Park. I could go on and on because I yeah. guess I fucking... Well, there's been hundreds of them. of course. Yeah. Haircuts. Well, Greg yeah. has these I pictures have... of me where I look apparently like in he's, a zone. Yeah, like, he's in like ecstasy as Jen is like cutting shading, his hair. Yeah, he's just butchering like... Butchering me. <laughs> the haircut I had... Oh, I can't remember which year it was. But I had the uh, Lemmy Mutton Chops, and Jen, <laughs> Funk Rock Jen, came in at the last second and got half of it, and then touched it up with a fryer tuck. That's right. That was <laughs> and a my cousin took a video, Denardo, uh, took a video of it, like a 360 around it. He's great. like, I can make a 360 model of your head, dude. My, um, I'll have to find this video. Yeah, that would be a good one. My, my wife is semi-responsible for the end of the haircut, haircut bonus because... There was uh, like a naughty and nice kind of thing. I remember where, that one. And, I offered um, to pay someone a hundred bucks to shave Jake's head, and they wouldn't do it. Newborn, newborn, because he wanted the nice haircut. I'm yeah. like, butcher that motherfucker. I'm like, I will pay you right now to shave his head. Well, his, we had his bike is in the other room right now. <laughs> we and had a, listening to you. <laughs> yeah, it's recording your. <laughs> we had a wedding that Saturday evening or whatever, so I had to leave early from from the twenty four, but. You know, it's middle of the night. Jess goes up to get like the the nice one, and Jen and she's wearing like uh, like little pigtails or whatever. And Jen just goes, "Here you go." Just one of them too. Right? No, both of them. Oh, really? Oh, but oh, and kind of pretty Jess. Sure. Jess like was like, "What the fuck? This was supposed to be like you know the just nice. like an, yeah." It's like I don't know. Here you go, and Jess like started crying. Oh, like, no. She was, like, done for the... She was like, I'm done. I'm just going to go home. Oh, that's terrible. And uh, And Jeremy was, you know, Jeremy was pissed off. Some of the other organizers were pissed off. They were like, we, you know, there's, like, an option here. Oh, I'm sorry, Jess. And then uh, Jen fixed it, you know, like, the next day, that Sunday at... Um, yeah. At the public house. house, right? Yeah. And the cleanup day. Yeah. yeah. That was when... But, <laughs> but Jeremy was like, we're done doing this. Oh. Yeah. So... <laughs> you did bring it back one year after, but... Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wild. That was a butcher. Could've yeah. Got to put that on the YouTube That is something, there. yeah. Um, I've my, seen it. My favorite beautiful. checkpoint before I started doing all the organizing was there was uh, one year on the Beer Line Trail where they did like black metal, like face paint. You guys remember that yeah, one? Yeah. Like two or three in the morning, whatever it was. So I get all like face painted and I'm on my BMX and... Um, and I'm racing up Holton. There's nobody around me. And as I'm like scrolling up, there's like these four guys, and they just start giving me this look. And, you know, I'm, I'm just like, oh, fuck, am I going to get jumped here? I don't right, know. I don't know right. what's going to happen here. You know, there's nobody out here, and these guys are definitely staring me down. Ride right by, but they're just eyeing me up the whole time. And I get back, and I tell my group, as after I pass off our bike, like, yeah, I, I just thought I was going to get fucking demolished out there. Rolled. Yeah. And, um, you know, told him I was like, scary as hell. They were looking at me, and they're like, you do realize you've got fucking face paint on and you look like an idiot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do realize so, that. So they were just more or less, <laughs> they had no interest in, in, in any trouble at all. They were just like, what the hell's with this guy? <laughs> yeah. I got that look on Holton, too, when I was wearing a tutu. I had a mm-hmm. bright pink tutu on, and these people were staring me down. And, yeah. But they were just kind of like, "What the right, hell is yes, going on?" This is going on. At yeah, least, you don't. At least you yeah, weren't Kim naked. Was talking. But right, we are missing a tutu in our house. Uh, I have one, yeah. but I don't think I have yours. You might. No, I have butt crack Andy's. 
Oh, that could be. BCA. BCA, baby. Oh, shit. You said it three times. It's going to be right <laughs> outside the fucking door up. now. Man. Probably going to be over at Amorphic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of With Amorphic. With the highest butt crack, that it thing? goes up to his shoulder blades. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is the top of the hill already. And we did have the pregame Amorphic. Was delicious. It, yeah, oh, yeah, it was very tasty. We're, we're going to have a post game amorphic too, I think. But, yeah. I think so. Uh, Tony brought us some of the last of the. Which one is this? This is the Poor Farm Pills from uh, Company Brewing, recently shut down Company yeah. Brewing just down the block. Good stuff. I will open this. It is, you know, I'm. <clears throat> I'm there's reasons biz, businesses go out of business and. Sometimes you brew bad beer. Sometimes you may not have proper management or something. I don't know. I think, you know, I've been reading a lot of posts. People are very negative about company online on Facebook and shit. But, you know, one guy was, like, very adamant that they brew really crappy beer. I'm like, I think you're full of shit. Yeah, they're, because they there's a couple beers. of beers yeah, they make that are outstanding. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Wouldn't, but, I, wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't go at that. Right. No, I, I, you know, I'll give them shit forever for, you know, discontinuing the poutine because that breakfast poutine was the greatest thing in the fucking world. <laughs> I'll give them shit for the 20% thing that they didn't get rid that of. That was after kind of a pain pandemic. in the ass. That was, you know, and they didn't re- generally tell you that until you got your bill. They circled the 20 And I don't care. I mean, I, I always tip 20% anyway because I like, I don't want to do the right, job. But, right. I always tip if I have a job, if someone helps me doing a job that I would not want to do personally. And, no, I, I did. I do. I am going to miss them. Um, I'm hoping someone steps up because that could be a pretty good turnkey business. Well, it's you know, um, it's it's I'm turnkey a few you, times. Pat. It's turnkeyed in the past a few times. Right, too. it has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nope. Nope. You know, Stonefly. But, so Stonefly. No. But I mean, Pat owns everything around that neighborhood. Why not add this to his collection? <laughs> I'm going to miss the River West Hops patches every year. Mm-hmm. I will definitely miss that <laughs> that's, considering that's I, I miss. contributed. Yeah, I contributed oh, many years. Don't you have some of my hops? Not anymore. Okay. They took over. They brought down our trellis. Oh, dude, they're insane. <laughs> every time I give someone to someone, <laughs> I'm like, don't you yell at me. <laughs> yeah. So we, they... we ripped it out, and it was from, you know, and it all of a sudden one day I woke up. And it pulled like our trellis at like a forty five degree angle. <laughs> and it was about two weeks. And and this is the thing that my wife and I got married in front of. So it was like, okay, I have a decision here. Do we save this thing because it's, you know, like part of our history, whatever? Sure, sure. Or do I just like you know, let it let these things harvest in two weeks? And I cut them all down and I tried to prop it up and the whole thing just fucking <laughs> fell apart. <laughs> I lost the war. Hops, hops, man, you're not going to win. Right. And then I, and then as I was like weeding them, I pulled one and it went like eight, eight <laughs> nine feet. feet through the yard. And then I find out. They're like the ends. I don't, I don't know exactly how this happened, but the, our neighbors behind us, or our neighbors next door to us, behind their garage, they're growing hops. And I don't even know why, because they don't even drink. So I don't know if those snuck over there somehow. Probably. Or what. Uh, but I'll, if I'll I need hops, I can, uh, I can just. Take those, and I actually and contributed the I, I, <laughs> River West hops. Uh, I, I warned Seth when he bought the place. I'm like, "Good luck with those. Mm-hmm. They're hard to kill." Yeah, I mean they they can come back after a couple of years. Which Seth? Seth. Yeah. Okay. Seth bought our house. Okay, I didn't Seth know that. And, oh yeah, so, that's uh, awesome. Didn't even put in the market. Seth and uh, Rochelle. Okay, that's great. Yeah, meeting with them Friday. To, we still have stuff. In it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. How many bikes? No, none. Not uh, one. But I See, left it for them. I left it for them. And, and also the tandem? gate. You got the no, gate going. No, it's unfolding. And I have to get the gate. I have to get bike gate. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> cool. Hey, there's a couple things here to mention before we wrap this up a little bit. I mean, you know, we got time. But uh, Chewy Salon Chair number 40 is posted. If you haven't listened to Chewy Spinner and Derek, it's a good show. Mayday Mayhem coverage. Mason City, Osage, and Decora are kind of working together. That's about an hour to Osage from Decora and two hours to Mason City. Okay. So the idea is to get, I mean, Decora already has awesome riding. Osage has pretty awesome riding, and they've got a new trail plan that one of the big trail builders is coming in and helping them do a section. From and Osage. Then, you know, Osage. I was, read, Osage. I was reading your post, and I just saw Osage, like, 
That's what eight, I'm, eight times yeah, in yeah. like one Osage. sentence. Osage. 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 <laughs> because like, it's God, cool. No, I get it. It's a town of 3,500 that is making an effort to make something that yeah. people want to go to. Yeah. And then Mason City is a bigger town, and that's got some decent riding around it too. So they're working on making a deal where, yeah, let's go stop in Decorah one day, there one day, there one day kind of thing. Cool. Um, and those guys, all three of those guys, Spinner, Derek and Chewy are all going out to Single Speed USA in Salida, Colorado this year. Oh, it's Salida. Oh, Ford's going to lose it. Yeah, that would be that a good Colin, That's place. Colin Ford's favorite place to ride, It is man. a good place to ride. Uh, one thing they were looking for, though, is they don't want to drive the 17 hours or whatever it takes to get there. So what do you stop at on the way? And I've stopped at a place in Kansas that's actually an Imba Epic Trail in the most unlikely spot you would ever think. It's Kansas. At, yeah, in the middle, dead center. If you had a dollar bill that's shaped like Kansas, it would be like dead nuts in the middle. Wow. About 10 minutes off of I-70 or whatever it is. Sure. And it's it's uh, around Wilson Lake, which is pretty much the only lake in the area. It's on the Saline River. Mm. Beautiful. Awesome trail. Got to stop there and Do camp it. overnight because right. it is spectacular. That's my recommendation, Chewy. Stop at, I forget what they call it. it is, Chewy doesn't listen to the show. Yeah, he does. Shut up, you. If he yeah. doesn't, he's going to have to realize no, I'm calling him nothing. a dick right now. It's, and called, the, call me it, out. it's called the Switchgrass <laughs> Trail. Guess what's not there? Switchgrass? Trees. There's no trees. It's Isn't in, it, switchgrass flammable? Probably. But it's in uh, post-rock territory because they didn't have any trees to make fence posts. They use limestone rocks. Cool. Mm-hmm. And they're like, you know, High. tall as a fence. Like Ireland? It's also Ireland. It's also illegal to pick one up off the side of the road and take it with you back to your house. Okay. Like oh, a child, you can't you can't, you can't right take here. can't take rocks from the beach of Costa Rica either. Without Don't bring busted. sand to the beach, bro. Yep. What you Don't bring, bring sand to the beach? Sand. <laughs> I feel like before we go to, we got to call this out. Check out Corey's shirt, Oilers, Edmonton Oilers, super fan show, number ninety nine. Show, show it to the turn fans. It. See turn that it. thing? It was a s- hey Zito, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's never gonna listen to this podcast either. Um, well, yeah. we got it on wax right If now. he listened to any of the podcasts, he'd hate us by now. Well, he doesn't want to be on the show or come to River West, so that's guess right. What? That's right. We don't. We haven't done a video podcast. Oh, I thought you were going to get up and... Come on. We got to do a Zito video podcast. That's right. You're going to flip him off. <laughs> kind of lead with the... You got to lead with the chest. Lead, no, you lead with the bottom end. No, is that what it is? So right. Right. Lead with the crotch. Yeah, How come we're not I Facebook friends? <laughs> that's how it works. All righty. Awesomeness. It just comes out creepy when you're 5'7". Right. <laughs> if you're, when you're 6'7", you it, it's different. It, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look as... I don't know how what tall I just he is, did. but he's tall. He's tall. He's way taller. Yeah, he's like 6'4". Six, so. <laughs> also, Fat Tire Tour of Milwaukee is this weekend. I may stop in... And? At and the beginning. The Surf and Turf Skate Park I concert. can't wait for that Bob show. Oh, that's on Saturday, isn't it? Yes, that's on Saturday. yes, yes. Oh, my God. Bug Bug moment. Scam likely. Agent Orange. Exotics. Agent Just, Orange, Agent baby. Orange is, I know. Yeah. I actually have to uh, make sure that I I have to adjust my pedal tavern schedule uh, because I'm not missing Agent Orange. Right. No, no, no. As soon as Nor we get done with I. this, I'm... So they have to be at like 8.45 to 9 o'clock because yeah. I think they, they have, have to, to be done by 10. By 10. Yeah. Okay. So just so you know. I so know. My, my target is like... I can work till like, 7. It's like, yeah, because it goes... I love... Covert's way. playing too, right? Convert. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. Convert, Convert, yeah. yeah. yeah it's I con- just love Scam Likely. I just think they're just a great band right now. That's Kerry Dean's band, right? Yep. Yeah, they're good. Definitely. Scam Likely. Charlie is a great singer. Is 530 to 6 and some change. And then it goes Convert, Crosses. Oh, Cross. I forgot. Yeah, Cross. And, uh, great. Yeah, Ancient yeah. Orange. Okay. Uh, and I saw, I saw Dan at uh, Bayview Gallery Night. And Rusty at the guitar shop had said that, because I bought the Dead Finger album, mm-hmm. and I said, oh, nice. And he, and he thought that the project was done, and Dan said, no, we're, we just did our second album. I'm like, right on, man. So, <laughs> so Dead Finger and the Crosses is Dan Kabinsky from Dyke Kreitzen. Dyke Kreitzen. Dude, that album, man. Which is a good album. Sun ain't going to shine anymore. God yeah, that's, that's going to be a, that a rocking Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be cheating and pushing the button. I'm going to be cheating and taking the goddamn uh, city bus. I'm tempted to just ride an acoustic Dude, bike. It's green take line the bus. to the 55, 55 right there. And to top it all off, my son graduates from high school the next day, so it can't be a 
get shit faced junkie. No, I drunk. agree. I don't want to. Yeah, I got. I, I have, just be I have a like lot an of fun. Ozarks uh, family reunion birthday party the next day, and I'm kind of secretly kinda hoping my for head Boom together. Boom Huck Jam showing up too. Yeah. Do you think he'll show up? I, he showed up beforehand, so why wouldn't Tony he's, Hawk be for this? That'd be here freaking before. awesome. I do not have his autograph yet. I also Me either. That's uh, that's high on my list. Yes, so, you are. The, oh, he, he's the autograph. King yeah, you too. got a lot of autographs. Yeah, I just got uh, Juan Gonzalez back in the mail. You Juan send you send them the addiction. card and the autograph mm-hmm. for a stipend or not all the time. Um, it, it depends. Some guys charge. He doesn't. It took it. Uh, I sent it off for it was a four hundred and forty five day turnaround. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, you got it back though. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked. Um, I've had one that took like over three years to get back. It was Dusty Baker. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's all you baseball. Got or do you do others too? Pretty uh, good financial baseball return on this. mostly. Yeah, it's his retirement account. Kind of. No, he's not. He's works for the freaking city. He's part of the same fund we are, which yeah. is fucking awesome. Don't look at me. I know. I'm, I'm him. Trying to him. get. I'm trying to big get arms. Him. He's making the big arms. Uh, he's trying uh-huh. to invite me into the fold. Someday you guys can come over. I will come willingly. <laughs> You're more than welcome to come over sometime and check out the, the museum of sorts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to send my- Do you actually I'm have them on display? My, mm-hmm. I've, I've seen a, a photo. Your basement. A photo or two on the inter-social media. Yeah. Right? I've seen I got a, a display things. case, yeah. like a whole wall of baseballs and I, I got it. I got goofy stuff like F1. Yeah. I can't send my Ayrton Senna card. Otherwise, he'd have to- come out of the grave to oh. sign it and stuff like that. <laughs> but so I also have like Iraq war cards. And if Colin Powell would sign my card, I'd be like, dude, how you doing? So <laughs> you do know my old boss was soldier of the year twice. Soldier had, of the year. And had, had has had dinner with Colin Powell several times. Awesome. Yeah. He's, he's, even though they're both right wing nut jobs, they're definitely not as bad as the <laughs> right wing nut jobs. My old right boss. Now. Because uh, they're way right wing nut jobs now. I mean, they're fucked up. My old boss was Willie Davis from the Green Bay Packers. Because ah. when I worked at the prison, no, when I worked at New Rock, New Rock one hundred two one, he mm. was one of the in his signature. Was he really? Yeah, <laughs> it was on wow. every one of my paychecks. Yeah, so I made a photocopy of it and sent it to my uh, to my uncle, who's like super Packer fan at the time. <laughs> Just like, hey, yeah, got you Which is funny because <laughs> for every bit. Corey is into sports, and we get we go back and forth, totally joking on on the Facebook. Yeah. But I know nothing about sports, so I have to give him shit about hand egg and all that shit, right? Because it's but but I, I hope you realize it's completely in jest, oh, and you know how much I love you, yeah, and what you do. Oh, absolutely. But I do find it funny that we have such divergent topics of interest, for yeah. lack of a better term, right? Yeah, you know, I'll nerd out about a computer. Yeah. Which you, well, not everybody's going to be in the same I'm, shit. I'm busy cleaning your cat hair out of your computer. <laughs> yeah. Which <laughs> won't Holy be a, fuck, was that a lot of fair, hair? Huh? Yeah. That that won't be an issue for quite a long time. That was funny. Corey, do you have a cat? I have a couple. I'm like, I know. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> replaced the anymore. Not anymore we don't. Yeah, that happens. Oh. We've got a Hey, who cares? Beaker's Shisu. still kicking ass. Yeah, we got a little Shisu and he I doesn't love shed at Beaker. all. Beaker. Yeah, when we how Molly still talks about when we house sat for him. Molly saw like Peeker the, on uh, uh, yeah at on the, Saturday at the um, rummage sale. Yeah. Was that last Saturday? Two Saturdays, Two Saturdays ago? ago. Yeah, yeah. I took him down. He had a she little raincoat on. She told me she's like, she's like, I saw Beaker. I'm like, the Beaker. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, you saw Corey's Beaker? I'm like, shit, I wish you'd <laughs> oh, send me a message. Weird. I would have came yeah. down just to give <laughs> Beaker the business. Yeah. Oh, he's such a shit. All right. <laughs> well, we did it again, folks. Corey, thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for um, having me. Obviously, we got way more to talk about, so you're welcome anytime. Yeah, yeah. We'll do another one maybe in July, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Maybe before the 24? Yeah. Yeah. Let's well, do concerned it. there's no Tuesdays after. You're, yeah. What? 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 After? Hmm? There's no Tuesdays in July after the 24th. Oh, true. I see what you're saying. Yeah. No, I'd love to come back on. I always have a great time with you guys. Cool. We always have a great time with you. Well, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna leave this thing with the full on. Man, I th- it's, no, no. I th- it's oh, just it's under not. two minutes, but it does have an intro, a thingy in the middle, and a deal, and then an outro. I don't yeah. know. I mean, whatever. We'll, meow. We'll, we'll crank it right now. You can meow. Listen or not listen. Yeah, party. Udo dot com.
was graduating. Okay. And he was very reclaimed about it. And he actually had this, 